Now, as I mentioned, fit y by x is not crossing these factors. That is, we're not comparing the variances at, let's say, Genesee Drive at 8 a.m. versus Genesee Drive at 8.30 a.m. So the Genesee Drive measurements are averaging over the different times of day, just like the 8 a.m. measurement is averaging over the different routes. Now, we can actually produce a final test that crosses these factors using some simple tricks and jump. So I'll go back to analyze fit y by x. I'll put time to campus as the y. And instead of putting each route and time of day as factors, let me select them both. I'll right click, go to character, and do concatenate with a comma. What this will do is create a temporary variable, one that has concatenated or combined the observations in each of the two selected columns. What this is, in essence, is all combinations of our factors. Let me actually right click on this temporary variable, that's what we just made, and I'll select add to data table. Because what I want to show you is what that's actually made in our data set. In our data set now, we have literally the concatenation or combination of the levels in each of the different rows. So here we had Gilman Drive at 8 a.m., and this concatenation column has made Gilman Drive period comma 8 a.m. So we actually do now have a variable that identifies each unique combination of factors. So I'll take this variable and put this into the x factor. And I want you to notice what this will turn. So this returns an output showing each combination, not just each factor level, but each combination of the factor levels. So now we can look a little more in detail whether perhaps there is some specific time of day within each route that happens to be more or less variable. Again, we can produce our unequal variances test, so I'll produce that here. And we'll get the output showing the standard deviations for each of the groups. And again, we'll get the tests. We've quite again rejected the null hypothesis here. So we certainly have evidence that among all of these different groupings, some of them have different variances. And so again, we come to the same conclusion that we've violated our homogeneity of variance assumption.